Virginia. Oh my goodness, it has been so long since I've uploaded a vlog on here or even just filmed a vlog that wasn't like my move-in vlog from last week. I'm genuinely trying to think the last time I vlogged because I hardly uploaded freshman year of college and my senior year of high school. So like, I can't even think of the last time I vlogged. So hello. Uh, this is a really random spur of the moment video. The day is Monday, August 17th. The time is 2.28 in the afternoon and I actually hit 100 subscribers on this channel the other day which is like in comparison to my main channel it's like 1500 less but honestly I really don't have many like active subscribers that watch my videos on my main channel so I really do appreciate like every single person who subscribes because the people that are like new subscribers I'm sure are more likely to actually watch my videos and I have been uploading more recently which is like really fun and really nice and I like it. It is time consuming but it is something that I enjoy doing and it's also a way that I express my creativity I guess. It gives me somewhere to say what I'm thinking and I think a lot so I appreciate everyone who watches my videos and I appreciate anyone who clicked on this video. I hope you stay and watch it. So right now I decided to vlog just because I'm feeling really anxious. Um, I'm moving into college on Saturday and on Friday I need to pack and I need to film a packing video and then on Saturday we can't move in until 6 p.m. This isn't really a vlog right now, this is just a word vomit, but I would like to like actually vlog. But the reason that I started this video was because I have all these thoughts in my head and I have this huge to-do list. Let me get my agenda and show you. Look how freaking cute this is. I got it last school year and it's a 16 month calendar, so it's taking me to the end of 2020 and like we all know this year has not been good, but at least I've had this like beautiful calendar. Look at how much stuff I'm getting done. This is my like YouTube planning for this month. There's kind of a lot going on. This is my to-do list for this week, which is like every other month of the summer, it has not been this busy. And it's because I'm actually not working this week. I was working at a restaurant. And so that basically took up most of my time. And then I would like have like a couple days off a week. I would like have one day for like rest and relaxation. And the other day would be like my productive day. And I would like film or edit or work on whatever project I wanted to work on. But this week, it's like the last week I'm home. And I also don't have work. I just have a bunch of things that I need to do before I go to school, like pack and film college videos. And like, I need to clean my bathroom. I wanna like take a bath with a bath bomb and shave my legs before I go to school because our shower is gonna be super tiny. I also need to do laundry before I pack. But like, this is all stuff that I can't do until like later on in the week. So I just have so much stuff in a big pile and I can't like, really prepare for it. I just have to wait for time to pass. Although I do have plans on Wednesday with my friends that go to Western that live in my area, including my roommate Elizabeth. We're just gonna have like a fun day and we're gonna go take photos and I'm really excited. And then on Thursday, Elizabeth and I are gonna get together because we got a black bean bag for our room and we are both nerds. We love animation. She's actually a film major. I'm just a nerd. I'm a religious studies major, which has nothing to do with animation. Unless we're talking about the Prince of Egypt, DreamWorks masterpiece. But anyways, we're turning our black bean bag into a toothless bean bag from How to Train Your Dragon because we both love toothless. We love How to Train Your Dragon. It's such a good one. How to Train Your Dragon is just so good and the soundtrack is amazing. Anyways, all we really need to do is just add on green little eyes with black pupils and then we might add on his little like ears and we would just need black fabric for that. But right now I'm like actually going through fabric and trying to find some green to use for that. So like I could use this because I honestly wouldn't be against using a pattern for his eyes just because I think that would make it look interesting but I don't know how Elizabeth feels about that so I'm just kind of going through my fabric and getting options you could also do felt I feel like felt might be easier to work with because it's really good for like beginners and uh, both of our sewing machines are broken so we're gonna have to like hand stitch it or maybe even fabric glue it I'm not really sure what the best material is going to be to use this like maybe we should get whatever fabric we're going to have be for his eyes and then maybe put it on felt and then stitch that on or glue it on 
um, but we do want to be able to like wash the cover. So I'm kind of just like figuring all of that out and looking through fabric because we just have bins and bins of fabric. My grandmother, my dad's mom was a hoarder. Probably not as bad as some people, but like she just had so many craft supplies and she used them when she could, but once she got like too old to really use her hands to like be able to see very well, she just couldn't use it. And she had all of it there. So my mom and I just kind of like scooped it all up and now we have it at my house. So I have hardly ever had to buy craft supplies in my life. So that's what is going on right now. I have a pile of fabric that I think would be really cute for face masks. But like I said, I don't have a sewing machine. So I'm either gonna have to fabric glue it or hand stitch this all. I'm just gonna, you know, show you what I got going on because I think this fabric is super cute. A lot of it is floral. I really like floral. I think it's so pretty. So this stack is actually just these two like pre-made sets of fabric that we just haven't like gotten into. Um, and I think I, I have it here for this green piece of fabric that could be useful. This one actually has a bunch of green pieces of fabric, but I think this one is a pretty good like color match and it's not exactly like a plain piece of fabric so i think it would be really interesting because toothless's eyes are really intricate uh because the animation in that movie and those movies in general are just so good and then this stack is a bunch of fabric that i would like to make into masks i think um all of this is very ambitious but it's just stuff that i think is super cute and i only have a couple of reusable face masks right now but a lot of them are just really like small fabric pieces that i hope you know, I could make fit into a mask. Like, like I have this plain white fabric that I think I could use as like a second layer um, because here's the point of masks is to like stop particles of virus from getting through. So there's no point if it's thin or has a hole in it or is made of lace, which I have seen some masks that are like that and it just totally defeats the point. So we out here, we trying to be safe, but we trying to be stylish and also useful of the resources we have while we're doing it. See, isn't this such a beautiful pattern? I just like love that. And right now I'm just kind of looking at like mask tutorials and I really am trying to find um, a pattern I could use and like print out to cut because I, like I said, I have all of these little pieces um, and some of these I would just have to like fold into the shape but some of them, like larger pieces like this, I wouldn't just want to like try and guess at the pattern. Like I could try and make my own, but I feel like that would be kind of difficult, like measuring my face. I don't know. There's a lot of this white fabric, so I have plenty of like room, I guess, for wiggle room um, when it comes to making a pattern. But yeah, maybe I'll find one of these and print it out or something. And maybe this is the last you'll see of me until I have any masks done, or maybe I don't get any done, but I would really like to get um, at least, I don't know, like three done before I go to school because I have two that I can take with me and they're giving us one at school. I hope they give us more than one because they really should. I really want a mask with Big Red's face on it. If you don't know, that's Big Red up there on my windowsill. I love him. He's our mascot. So that is what I'm doing today. And I just wanted to film so that I could talk about it and be like, okay, this is what's going through my head. And this is how I'm being productive today. I'm not just sitting and wallowing in my time waiting until I have something to do because I don't want to waste my last week of summer, you know, like I'm excited to go back to school, but I gotta do things to prepare for that. So let's get started working on these face masks. I don't really know if I'm gonna do a time lapse or anything of this, but let's get started. It is much later now. I am outside under the deck with my sewing materials and a kitty. And I kind of just, I don't know, rolled with it, used my face as a pattern. I just like held the fabric up to my face and figured out where I needed to cut it, where I needed to fold it. So this is going to be the outside piece and then this is going to be the inside lining. And I know that this first um, mask is gonna be really finicky and not very good. So I did this pattern that like I don't hate, but like I don't love, like I won't be upset if it turns out bad. Um, and I'm just sitting out here hand stitching it. I just stitched the inside lining. So hopefully, you know, this part didn't need to be pretty, so that's why I did it first. Um, and now I guess I'm gonna get working on the outside cover. I took the pin out of the inside cover. Hopefully it is like nice and secure. 
I mean, not that I'm going to be tearing apart this seam very often, but even though this is going to be inside, it's basically the same size as what's going to be the outside cover, so if I flip it inside out, then yeah, that looks like it'll fit my face nicely. It'll be a little off, but it's okay. It's handmade by me. Hi, shorty. Hello. Oh my goodness, you are looking so cute. And of course, you walk right past me. Oh, oh, no, you're turning back around. <gasps> Hello! So I now have a sleeping cat. A smiling dog. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. And I just finished sewing the outside cover, and now I'm going to pin them together and sew together the top. Honestly, still don't have the bottom figured out, like how it's going to be shaped. I also don't even know how I'm going to attach it to my ears. I may just like hot glue on yarn or something. I have no idea. I'm just kind of like going for it. But I actually think I'm going to move because a few of those tomatoes have started rotting and it smells really bad. So I think I'm going to go up on the deck. So I have now moved up onto the top of my deck and I am watching Generation DIY make a bunch of masks. Um, well, I make my own, and I just stitched the top hem, and I basically just folded over a hem, and then stitched on the inside piecing, and then, like, hemmed at the same time. Wait, hold on a second. Did I not even stitch in this piece of fabric? Please don't- oh my gosh. I am- Upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> oh no! I was feeling so accomplished, but the inside lining didn't even get stitched on except for in one place. So that's depressing, but this is how it's fitting now. I'm so sad. Okay, but it's actually like super cute. I really do like this pattern. I don't know how I'm gonna get this to attach to my ears, but I might just like yarn <laughs> or something. I don't know if we have any elastic, but if we do, I kind of want to use it on masks that I make better <laughs> because clearly this is like not the best. I think what I'm gonna do is just go in and like tack down on a few points um, the folded over hem and then the inside piece just to like keep it in there. Um, cause I'm not gonna like be wearing this mask reversibly, it's just gonna be like this. So the inside doesn't really need to look pretty, I just, it needs the extra layer. So I think I'm gonna do that now. Oh, we love you guys. I love you, Julian. I love you, Jenna. Aw, you sweet. It's been fun and, uh, I'll see you probably tomorrow <laughs> or today for you. But, um, yeah, thank you for a great podcast. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Bye. I'm so sad. And I, like, I never even, like, regularly watch the podcast, but I love Jenna and Julian so much, and I miss her so much. Shorty! Come on, doggo. Come on. Good, good doggo. So it is literally 9 p.m. It is so much later, but I finished my face mask and honestly, I think I did a pretty good job, although I do think it's a little small because uh, it doesn't really go under my chin that much. I don't know. I didn't want it just to like hang down, but I like if I yawn, it'll totally like kind of come undone, but I just used some fabric or not some fabric some ribbon and I just kind of made a casing for it here. It's not perfect, it's not amazing, but I just made it for myself so I don't really care about it being super professional. But yeah, just sitting here, I'm watching Avatar because what else would I be watching? Momo's right there. So let's see what is on my master to-do list. Oh, I actually kind of did everything there. I kind of finished cleaning my bedroom, it's definitely not clean now. Um, but I did go through fabric and I made a mask. I could get started on another one if I wanted to and just sit here and watch 
some more Avatar, or maybe even the Kissing Booth because I still haven't seen the Kissing Booth too, but I want to rewatch the first one before I watch the second one. I don't know. I haven't really heard that much about it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, Milo is still there. Oh, the clock is actually chiming right now. It is 11.45, um, and I finished watching whatever episode of Avatar I was watching. I watched The Kissing Booth, which is an hour and 45 minutes, and I've just watched like three YouTube videos, and in that time I made this mask, except it's not completely done. I still need to put, I think I'm gonna look and see if we have any elastic to put on the edge of this. Um, but this one actually looks like so much better and it's better made. So these are the two masks I've made today. This is the first one and like it's such a busy pattern you can't really tell. It doesn't like look bad on the outside but on the inside it's just like super super sloppy and not very you know well put together. Um, this mask though I actually ended up having to just sew every single seam because I was actually sewing it and not just kind of like folding them together. I was able to, I mean, I think that's pretty good for a very amateur hand stitcher, those little straight stitches. I think this pattern is so pretty. It's just yellow with these flowers and a bow there. And there wasn't enough fabric to do the same pattern on the inside so I just used some white fabric and honestly I definitely think that looks nicer um, I gave it a nice little hem it was also because this fabric was just like a different shape so I was able to use a like the straight hem at the top here and fold that over um, but like I said I'm gonna try and find some elastic to just stitch on here I think that this is so pretty and I'm like really proud of myself for making this because I really didn't do this with any pattern I just kind of like held fabric up to my face and figured it out. I hand stitched it and it was definitely time consuming but it is a super accomplishing feeling. But like I said, it's now nearing midnight. I think I will just clean up this mess quickly and get ready for bed because I would like to go to bed now. I don't really have anything else to do. And if I started another mask, oh, see I'm yawning. If I started another mask, I would be up until 2 a.m. and I just don't don't want to do that and my my thumb and pointer finger are getting tired of the needle so that's gonna be all for this video I know it was super random I know it wasn't like the best vlog ever but I just wanted to talk and I wanted to make a video I like I don't know how to explain it I just needed a place to put my thoughts and I feel like just showing off random things that you're doing is the point of vlogs that's the point of my second channel is just to put random things on here that wouldn't go on my main channel because that's a little bit like more themed to at first it was like makeup and like fashion and it's still those I just haven't made a makeup video in a really long time because I haven't done makeup as much in recent years compared to like my first few years of high school I also used to do more fashion videos but those are just like harder to do and when I had less time my upperclassmen years of high school I just didn't have time to do those videos. It has kind of transformed into a thrifting channel which I'm not mad at at all. I love thrift shopping, I would love to keep doing more thrift flips, but right now this is where I am. This is where you are watching this video. So thanks for watching. I am going to end it here and um, yeah I'll see you in my next video. Bye!